Well, hello and welcome back to my channel. It's Elisa coming to you from Beautifully Me and You. And today I have a cash stuffing of my first paycheck of January. And if that sounds like something that interests you, then let's get right into it. All right, you guys, I have everything I need <laughs> spread across this table. I'm gonna remove a couple of things just so we can get started. First of all, I'm gonna take off the markers and the penny challenge because we'll be doing that towards the end of the video, okay? All right, now that we have that to the side, actually, I'm gonna take down the coins and the coin jar as well. All right, now that we have all that extra off the table, I am gonna be using my cash stuffing tracker that I filled out yesterday, which will be a cash stuffing of a total of $437.37. The change and some of that extra will be going into the penny challenge, okay? Um, also, if you didn't see the budget layout for this whole budget, this pay period, with the cash stuffing tracker, I'll go ahead and link that video up above so you can get a handle of like how it all began to come to this point, okay? Especially if you're a new budgeter. All right, so right now what I have is my sinking funds. We're not gonna be stuffing all of them, but I am gonna go ahead and leave them out so we can get started. All right, I do like this layout right here, so hopefully I'll be able to work very well in this space. Um, the first one that we need to stuff is going to be Janae for $25. And I don't think Janae has spent anything. She had 570. That's one, two, three, four, five, 520, 40, 50, 60, 570. And we're going to be adding 25, which will be a 20 and a five. Hello, 20. Come on back. All right. So that should bring her total to 595. And that's one, two, three, four, five, 520, 40, 60. 70, 80, 95, 95. And I do need to print some more trackers before the next cash stuffing, so I'll do that. These trackers, by the way, are listed down below as a free download, um, a free PDF. I think three of them come on one page and you can cut them to size and that's what I'll be doing, so I'll have additional ones. But if you guys need some trackers, look down below in my um, description bar, okay? All right, so that's Janae. And Janae, uh, Jay should be the same. Just this morning when he went back to school, I took the $100 out for the laptop. So he should also be at 570. And that's one, two, three, four, five, 550, 60, 70. And I'm gonna be stuffing $25 into his as well. So that will be one, two, three, four, five, 50, 70. 80, 90, 95, 595 total. And I kind of talked about if they don't get to a certain amount by the end of the quarter, which will be the end of March, if they don't spend some, then I'm gonna take some out and move it elsewhere. So we'll stay tuned for that. And all right, for car, I'm gonna be stuffing $25 this time. I don't have them in order in my cash stuffing tracker, so if I'm a little bit off, that's why. All right, so, oh, and I left. Come on, y'all. Okay, 1,000's in the bank. One, two, three, four, 450, 70, 90, 500, 520, 40, 45, 50, 55. Wait a minute. One, two, three, four, 450, 70, 90, oh. Okay, wait, let's start all over. <laughs> 1,000, 1, 2, 3, 4, 450, 470, 490, 510, 530, 550, 55, 60, 65. Come on, y'all. I'm letting 50 stump me so early in the game. All right, and we're gonna add $25 into this one as well, which will be a 20 and a five. It's too early to be having the uh, 50s throw me on loop. That's 1,000. 1, 2, 3, 4, 450, 70, 90, 510, 530, 50, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90. Yeah, 1590 is the total for car, which is excellent. Because you know cars, they be trying to take your money. One, one breakdown, one of my friends here on YouTube, her car broke down. I think she paid 1600 to get it fixed, which would wipe out my whole little fun. We ain't got time. All right, next is... Um, household, I'm not going to be stuffing this time. Clothing, uh, yeah, I left that one off for this time. 
Medical, I am gonna be stepping and that's just gonna get $10. Right now, medical has one, two, three, 320, 340, and it'll get a 10, which will be one, two, three, 20, 40, 50. 350, that's a pretty good amount. Um, my kids are supposed to be getting glasses, but I think I don't have a deductible for that if I'm cert if I'm right. If I do, it will be coming out of this medical folder. Birthdays, I'm not gonna be stuffing anything into that this time. Christmas, we are gonna start over. And I need a new tracker, so when I print some new trackers, I'll definitely put one in there. But for right now, I'll put a zero and then I'll put a $25. Because that's how much we're stuffing today, 25. All right, and there's 25 for Christmas. It's starting all over, y'all. How exciting, right? Last year, I started, I want to say, in March, stuffing for Christmas. And by the time I got to the end of the year, I had 3000 almost $3,000. So, And I that was way too much, more than I needed. So, Boss Funds is going to be getting 30 this time. And Boss has... 1, 2, 53, 350, 70, 90, 4, 10, 4, 20, 4, 25. Yeah, that's right. And we're going to be stuffing 50, no, 30, which is a 20 and a 10. And let's see if I can get it all together. All right. <laughs> so that's 1, 2, 53, 350, 70, 90, 4, 10, 4, 30, 40, 50, 55. Okay, she's getting a handle on them 50s now. $455 for Boss. And in case you don't know, this is for some business ventures that I'm trying to start. Um, and that's what I primarily like to use it for. All right, next is Travel. I'm not gonna be putting anything in there now. Next is Gingy, and Gingy's gonna get $15. I don't know if you guys saw my budgeting video, but I did spend $100 on Gingy. Um, to get her a cat house, like a scratching post, a real tall one. It had like Marshalls or Ross. So shout out to whoever that was in my comments that said they had saw some at like Marshalls, Ross, TJ Maxx. I think I ended up going to either Marshalls or TJ Maxx because they're all in the same shopping center. And I found one for $50, which was a huge discount. And I got that for her. And at first she really wouldn't even play with it. Then I put a little catnip on it. Okay, she ready now. Now that's her space. Okay, so right now she should have 165, 150, 65. And today I'm going to be adding 15, which is going to be a 10 and a 5. 5. Come on, y'all. Come on. Okay, there we go. That's 150, 60, 70, 75, 180 will be her total. And I'm gonna try to get her back up to like $300 by the end of the month, just in case I need to get some other things, you know. So that's that. And then, actually, let me turn this around. Hold on, because I don't like the look of all those numbers. Okay, next is beauty. I'm not gonna put anything in beauty, but I did take some money out and go get my hair braided. So if you see me on Instagram, um, I had my hair braided and it was like $200. If you don't know my Instagram handle, I'll put it here. You guys can follow me. I'm pretty much trying to post like my food journey, my weight loss, things like that over there. Um, and some motivational things, but I did get my hair braided. And so in my stories, if you've been over there, you would have saw that I had braids in my hair and I spent that money out of beauty. I'm not gonna be stuffing one month ahead this time. I am gonna be stuffing Salisa. I should have 200 and that's because I spent some of my money. But um, let's see, for today, I'm going to be putting a $50 bill. I'm all about recouping my losses, okay? One, two, two, fifty. So, I got to get mine up close to where the kids are. They're like at 500 something, almost $600. I got some stuffing to do. Giving, I'm going to put $80. I'm really beefing it up for a 20 k giveaway. So, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and manifest that. 20,000 subscribers is coming soon. And when it does, we're going to have a huge giveaway. Y'all know I don't play about giveaways, okay? So we're going to go ahead and start stuffing some money now. So when it comes to fruition, we got some true giveaways. I'm thinking about doing a live, but anyway, 50, 70, 80, $80. If I do do a live, I'll let you guys know in advance because we got some giveaways to be got, okay? 
investments. I'm not going to put anything in there. And then there's just bank deposits. So that's it as far as my sinking funds. Next, I need to do my cash envelope. So let me get my little wallet. All right, here's my little key holder, as I call it. I'm going to put my sinking funds down. We're done with those. Um, for my little key holder, I did get this on Amazon. It's linked in my Amazon storefront below, as is the planners. Any planners are also down below as well. And um, inside there, I made these little mini cash envelopes, and I keep them in here. One of them I won't be needing for a while, and if you watch my budgeting video, you already know. Groceries. Okay. I got the hugest blessing in regards to groceries, so I probably won't be stuffing that one. I did kind of think about stuffing a little bit into a grocery sinking fund. So when um, that card does max out, I will still have some grocery money and I can kind of get a head start for the year. So I might end up doing that. But for right now, I have to stuff gas, Salisa, and weekends. For gas, I'm gonna be putting 250s. I try to put $50 a week into my car. So that's why I'm putting 250s. And I just put this down in here. And there's that. And if you guys wanna know how to make these little mini envelopes or even my sinking fund envelopes, I'll put a video up here that I recently created that showed how I made these frosted envelopes. Um, for myself, I'm gonna be putting 25, which will be a 20 and a five. And this is like in case I need like little quick things, you know, Starbucks coffee, Dunkin' coffee, nails, lashes, um, sunflower seeds I love to buy, things like that. I've been thinking about trying to do expense tracking because I really don't expense track, but trying to do expense tracking and bringing you guys along like vlog style. So I might do that off of this pay period. If so, you'll see the video come out soon, okay? Last is fun. And for that one, I'm also gonna be doing 25. So, oh, we're looking five. Okay, 25. <laughs> and um, this is if we want to do something fun on the weekend. And it might be something simple as just, you know, um, go pick up an ice cream. You know what I mean? It doesn't have to be anything huge because I don't budget quite a bit for us to do stuff. Sometimes we go to the swim, indoor swim um, place, and it's only like $2 per person. So we do small things like that. Go walking in the park and then stop and get a Starbucks. I take that out of weekends, okay? So there's weekends, Salisa, and gas, and then groceries that doesn't have to be stuffed. And I just put all these back into my little cash envelope wallet. And I carry this, it stays, you just put the zipper over the tips and zip it up. And this stays with me all the time. Look at my little cat. This stays with me all the time because it has my car keys and everything on it, okay? All right, I think that's it as far as everything on the cash stuffing tracker. Let's go ahead and get into this penny challenge. All right, I have everything all set up for the penny challenge. I have my coins here that I had left over for this week, as well as the dollar bills for my budgeting, and then my markers and my penny challenge um, paper, okay? For the penny challenge, I am offering this as a free PDF, link down below in my description. You too can do the penny challenge. It's not that difficult. And I'm gonna explain how it works one more time, just in case you weren't here the first time, okay? It's a 52 week challenge, which means every week for the whole year, you need to stuff at least one of these penny amounts. There's 52 pennies on the page. Some of them are higher values like $28.92, where some as are as little as 28 cents. No matter what, you can go in order, you can skip all around the page, but no matter what, you wanna make sure that you color at least one penny every week. Or in my case, since I get paid bi-weekly, I'm gonna be coloring two every pay period. And by the time I get to the end of the challenge at the end of the year, I should have at least $667.95. However, for myself, if I have extra coins, I'm just gonna put them into the coin jar as well, okay? So I already told you how to get this challenge down below in my description box, click the PDF, print it for free. The colored markers that I'm using are listed in my Amazon storefront below, as is my coin jar that I'm using to actually keep track of this challenge, okay? So let's go ahead and get started. I only have two pennies to color, and I'm gonna be doing this with my regular paycheck budgeting and cash stuffing every time, instead of doing it with savings challenges. All right, so let's see. For the penny challenge, I need to color in Let's see, 77 cents. We'll do that one first. 
75, 76, 77. Let me take this jar off. All right, so that goes in and I'm gonna color that one this color. All right, and the second penny that I'm going to color will be, how much do I have over here? 75? I think I can do two more. I'll do a dollar and 75 cents. And that one I'm going to make green. And then I have another one for $2.24, $2.25. I'm gonna put that in there as well. And I actually had an extra penny. I'm just gonna throw that on in there. So let's color that one pink. Okay, she's staying on the top row. I better get down to some of these bigger amounts before the end of the year comes. But <laughs> right now, I'm staying up here mainly at the top, it looks like. So I colored in the 77, 175, and 224. So that's actually three pennies for this week, this pay period, and I'm happy with that. Um, so I am going to color in two more, though, when I get paid the next time. But that's everything for the penny challenge for today. Look how quick and easy this challenge is. I'm telling you, it works with all kinds of budgets. You guys, click down in the description box and get you a copy and do the penny challenge along with me. Let me know. All right, I think that's everything for this video. Let's see. We did the cash stuffing of the sinking funds, of the cash envelopes, as well as the penny challenge. As well as the penny challenge. <laughs> I think that's everything. Don't forget to do all the things. Like, comment, subscribe, and look out for your girl's next video because it's going to be a Q&A answering some of your basic budgeting questions. Yeah, you didn't know I was coming out with that? If you have some budgeting questions, look to my last video. I'll link it up here and you can put a comment down with whatever question you have about starting your budget or continuing on your budget and I'll add it into the Q&A. All right, I think that's everything for this video. You guys take care. Thank you so much for all your love and support. Bye-bye.